You know when you work so hard on a piece of content for your business that you're super proud of, you go to post it on social media and you wait for the reaction that you're hoping for. But then you realize that the algorithms hate you that day and no one actually sees it. I know, it sucks, it happens to me a lot, but enter email marketing. If you have not started your email list, we're going to fix that today because I promise it's going to generate the most results, sales, and revenue in your business. In case you're new, I'm Sandra, and I help you build an audience online while generating passive income. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video every week. I've grown my email list to over 12,000 subscribers in just a few short months, and it generates the most sales and revenue in my business. So I'm going to walk you through the exact steps you need to take to start building your list right away. Building an email list can sound super complicated, but I promise I'm going to simplify it for you in this video. Now, before we jump in, you're probably asking, why do I need an email list for my business? Here's the thing. You've probably heard that in order for people to invest in you, regardless of what your business is about, out, they need to know, like, and trust you. An email list allows you to nurture your audience so that when you go to launch your products and services, they're warmed up and ready to buy from you. Also, you own your list and you're able to speak directly to your subscribers as opposed to posting on social media and hoping that the algorithms are on your side that day. So let's get into the first step you need to take, and that is to create a lead magnet. You've probably heard of this term interchanged with freebie and opt-in. It's basically you creating something for free in exchange for people's email address. Now, some examples of a lead magnet can be in the form of a PDF document, so like an ebook, a mini course in the form of a video series, fillable templates, and worksheets. I'm sure you have subscribed to many freebies, so check your inbox and see what you have subscribed to to get some ideas. Now, it does not have to be super fancy, so no analysis paralysis here. It just has to be super relevant to your target audience and therefore irresistible for them to exchange their email address for. So let's go over a specific example. Let's say you are an Instagram expert that eventually wants to be an Instagram coach. You can create a PDF document on how to consistently generate leads from Instagram or 10 Instagram organic growth hacks. If you really don't know what to create, just go onto Pinterest, type in a couple of keywords within your niche and scroll down to take a look at the pins that lead to blog posts and maybe some other freebies that people offer. And I promise this will give you so many ideas that you can take inspiration from. Then start an Excel spreadsheet where you can start to brainstorm some ideas and then survey your audience to see what they would like and check off the one or ones that you intend on creating for your business. So my lead magnet examples that I've created for my business are how to grow your business with Pinterest and 20 digital product ideas to sell online. These two are for my coaching business and I've also created a productivity guide with printable planners for my Etsy shop. These are all PDF documents that could be easily created in Canva. So my homework for you this week is to brainstorm ideas for your business and get started on a lead magnet using a platform like Canva. Next, after you've created your lead magnet, let's say it's a PDF document, you're going to want to choose an email marketing platform. Now there are many options that you can go with here and I highly recommend you do your research, but some options are Drip, ConvertKit, Flowdesk, MailChimp, and so many others. I personally use Flowdesk, so I'll leave a link in the description box down below. I do believe that MailChimp is free up until 2,000 subscribers, but again, do your research and see what you get with that. If you decide to create more than one lead magnet, you're going to want to know the terms tagging and segments. So the easiest way I can explain this to you is using my examples. So I've got a segment for my Pinterest guide and another segment for my digital products guide. When someone goes to download my Pinterest guide, they are tagged under Pinterest. But when someone goes to download my digital product guide, they're tagged under digital products. The best part about this is that let's say I come out with a Pinterest mini course. Well, I can specifically email the people that downloaded the Pinterest guide to let them know that I'm launching my course. The reason you want to target your emails and make them as relevant as possible is avoiding many of your subscribers from unsubscribing. And because they were clearly interested in this specific lead magnet, then they're probably going to be interested in my paid offer. If you're getting value from this video so far, be sure to hit the like button and leave a 
comment below to let me know if this was helpful and if you have any questions. Now, after you've chosen your email marketing platform, you're going to want to create a landing page. You've definitely seen this many times when you subscribe to something, but I'm going to share my screen right now to show you one of my landing pages and all the components that it has. So this is the landing page for my Pinterest guide. You'll see the components here are an image, for the PDF document, and you can create this image using Canva or Illustrator, for example. A title at the top here, a description letting them know exactly what they're getting from this, a spot for them to put their name and their email address, and of course, the button to actually download the guide. Now, it's actually super simple to create a landing page depending on which platform you use. So I'll quickly show you right now how you would go about doing this. So whether you are using Flowdesk or another email marketing software, they're not going to be too different when creating a landing page. So right now I'm on the home page and I went to forms, which is the landing page, and I'm going to click on new form right here. Then I'm going to select full page and I'm going to go right here to customize it and a pop-up window will appear that says choose a segment. So now you're going to name your segment. So let's go to the example of, let's say you are offering an Instagram guide for 10 organic growth hacks. So I'm gonna type that in here and click save. Now this is where you would insert your image that you've created in, let's say Canva or another software. So you would just go to upload image right here and it's as simple as going to these titles and replacing it with your title as well as the description. And finally, if you just click on the button, you can actually edit what this says and change up the style and the color. Now, I'm more than happy to provide detailed tutorials on email marketing using Flowdesk, so let me know in the comments if that's something that interests you. Next, after you've done all this work, it's time to distribute your lead magnet. So basically, promote your freebie. Once you've created your landing page and connected your freebie to it, your software will generate a unique link that you can now share with people so that they can land on that page and put their name and their email address. So you're going to copy this link and paste it everywhere you are active. So I'll show you my examples. I've got my Linktree account in my Instagram bio, which looks like this when you click on it, and it shows all three freebies that I offer. So anybody that lands on my Instagram and clicks on this link is able to download any freebie that interests them. I've also created multiple pins for each freebie that I've shared to Pinterest and they've had multiple impressions and many signups. Of course, I have a call to action in all of my YouTube videos where I have a pop-up of my freebie, letting my audience know that they can download my guides in the description box down below. If you have a blog or a website, you're going to want to link your lead magnets in there as well. Now, you're not just going to post it once or twice and be done with it. You worked really hard on this and it is relevant to your business, so you are going to want to promote it multiple times consistently and everywhere. The next step is super important because this is truly where the results and the sales come in, and that is serving your list and tracking your analytics. Now, you might be getting super uncomfortable wondering how you're going to serve your list and what you're actually going to email them. Here are some ideas for you. Talk about trending topics within your niche. Provide free and valuable tips within your niche. Survey your audience to know what kind of content they want to see from you. Announce pieces of content that you have just posted, like a blog post or a YouTube video. And of course, launch your products and services to them. Scroll through your inbox and see what your subscriptions are offering. What are people emailing you right now? And take inspiration from that as well. As you're serving your list, you're going to want to track two key components, and that is your open rate and your click-through rate. Your open rate is basically how many people see your email and actually open it to read it. And your click-through rate is how many people are clicking on the link that is within your email. So let's say the link to your online shop or your blog. Now the industry's average on open rate is about 20% and mine is between 30 to 40% and I'm going to share some subject lines with you that have performed really well for me so you can also take inspiration from that. Now the industry average click-through rate is about 2.5% and mine ranges between 4 to 7%. I'll just share on the screen here some of my analytics and to give you an idea of the subject lines that are doing really well I'll just pop it up on the screen here you can screenshot it take inspiration and of course adjust it to your niche You'll 
you'll see that I use a lot of emojis and wherever you see first name slash friend, that's my email marketing software, basically programming their first name so that it's more personalized. Now, I don't want you getting overwhelmed with all these steps. Remember, you just need to focus on the first step this week and that is to create your lead magnet. Let me know if you would like specific tutorials on email marketing. Again, I'm more than happy to provide that to you. You can also follow me on Instagram where I share business tips like this and check out the description box down below for some free guides that will help you get started in your business. Next, you can check out my video on how to create a digital product that actually sells, followed by passive income ideas starting from scratch. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what other content you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye guys.